the hood up on the side. What's up, YouTube? We back with another Taylor Swift reaction, man. Today we got Don't Blame Me in a 2 and 1. We got Don't Blame Me and I Did Something Bad. As y'all know, for the ones that um that been here. As I've been doing these Taylor reactions, just recently I dropped, um, I did something bad, um, the, um, the, um, damn, I lost my train of thought. Oh, the, uh, the live performance. And apparently, for the ones that watched it, apparently it was sped up. I didn't know. And y'all probably like how I didn't know when you had to edit and all that stuff. I didn't know till the first, I saw, started seeing a bunch of comments after I posted the video. I came back like an hour later. I'm getting, I'm seeing a bunch of comments talking about, the video messed up why is this why is it um so fast blah 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 and apparently i think i remember what happened so i think i was watching a youtube short and uh in the comment it was like make the video faster make it funny or whatever so i did that and i think i went right into without changing it back went into doing the taylor reactions and um so i had like i did don't blame me and I did, um, I did something bad. So the Don't Blame Me video, that original not get uploaded. So this is going to be my second time actually seeing this. Not my first reaction anymore. And um, and it'll be my second time doing I did something bad. So other than that, these only two. Everything else will be back to being you know, original reactions. But I didn't want to upload Don't Blame Me. And it was sped up. And um, I probably smoked before I did that. That's probably why I didn't. I didn't even realize how you know it was a real first reaction because I didn't even notice it was sped up. I thought Taylor was just singing faster or some shit. I don't know, bro. But um, here we go, man. Let's get into this. Also, I want to say before we get into it, this is the post. This is this reaction is post me watching Miss America documentary. Um, it actually got blocked, which I expected because it's from Netflix. But I am trying my best to get it unblocked in the next couple of days. So hopefully it get uploaded sometime in this um, coming week or so. If it don't, then I will eventually put it on my Patreon, which it will be up there for free. All right. So and y'all get the link to that and everything. But besides that, man, let's get into this post Miss America documentary. I had to say that because I got a whole new perspective on Taylor, man. And, and it's great. Now, here we go. Let's get into it. Don't blame me. Yeah, right. For the rest of my life. Now y'all hear me sing along. Like I said, this is my second reaction. Cause the first one was messed up, obviously. Long for before we do any mess ups, we gonna make sure. Hold on, we gonna make sure that speed on normal. There you go. All right. I ain't gonna lie, this even hit harder than the first reaction though, because, but then the original reaction that y'all never got to see to uh, Don't Blame Me, because I have watched Miss America now, and I see like literally how what y'all was saying about how she take her time and it's a real process behind each of her songs, that's no bullshit bro, like when they was showing the scenes where she in the studio coming up with these songs and shit, it's like an amazing process and then just knowing the background of Taylor now and that she really 
organically came up like just was a kid with some some with some some that aspired some big dreams and she accomplished those dreams like literally was writing stuff in her diary as a kid that she accomplished later on in life bro that's insane so it ain't like um it ain't like, like i just had somebody tell me taylor's an industry plant and due to the fact i didn't watch the documentary now i had to, i had to defend taylor i said no she not i said no way bro taylor i, I mean from the looks of the documentary she worked hard she she blew up at 16 she 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 put in a lot of work, bro. Like and and she ain't got no it ain't like she got no ghost riders, none of that. She writing all this music, bro. Like she really talented, playing the guitar. Started off as a country singer, like bro. I ain't gonna lie, I had a whole I got a whole new respect on Taylor. I'm I'm basically a Swifty at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Bro was feeling that. Oh. <laughs> Nah, hold on, bro. The vocals is crazy, man. This is crazy. You know what's crazy? Taylor said in a documentary that, you know, it was a point in that when she was talking about her eating and stuff like that. And like how at one point she was really, really skinny and people thought, you know, she was telling people she eating, she just liked that or whatever. She she worked out a lot, but she was like she really wasn't eating. And she talked about how um how at the end of the show she thought she was supposed to be feeling like she was finna pass out and like real weak and shit. And she obviously she talked about how now that she eats healthy or she eats or whatever and stuff like that that she don't feel like that at the end of shows. But the point of me saying that is I can see why she will feel like that though at the end of shows, bro, because she go crazy. Like every song, you know, like all the performers I've seen so far, it seems like every song is a it's a it's been a different outfit. <laughs> it's, it's uh the background dancers got something different on, doing a different choreography thing or whatever. Um, and it's just a lot of energy, bro. No matter the, how the song going, it's a lot of energy with her performance. And that seems like it's every performance. Like, she don't take a, a performance off. It's every one. I definitely kind of see how you could be wore out at the end of that. But that's also a hell of an experience for the fans that, that get to go.
Yeah, she went crazy. All right, here we go, man. We got, I did something bad. Let me see. Let's get it. Never trust a narcissist. Oh, but Dang, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Off rip, I do see the difference now from when I watched it. And I guess it was, I don't know what speed I had it at, but it wasn't like too, too fast, but it was definitely faster. I definitely see the difference right here. And I make it look Oh, there it goes. Don't regret it one bit because he had it coming. They say I did something bad. It wasn't feel so good. They say I did something bad. It wasn't feel so good. Most fun I ever had. And I do it more and more. Oh, one more thing. I am trying not to pause for a while after this. Um, this is also what I wanted to say earlier about just since this is post uh post Miss Doc Miss America documentary watch. I also understand some of these songs a little better now because I understand what she was going through at the time she made some of these songs. Now, like now, I know about all the you know all the stuff that she was going through, you know, and um. So some of these songs, even if songs that I haven't reacted to yet, there's some songs from the documentary I definitely want to react to. But I also know why she made those songs, or like how she was feeling or what was going on at that point in time of her life and um, you know, the year and stuff like that. So that's actually very important when it comes to reacting to some of this music. Help me relate better to the song and stuff like that, and it makes it way better. So that's definitely for some of the future reactions. Uh, also, keep playing reactions. Put, put, put um more reactions in the in the comments that y'all want me to get to from Taylor Swift.
Nah, she went crazy, man. I ain't gonna lie. She went crazy. I ain't gonna lie that um right now I only did like I haven't did many Taylor songs so far. But out of the ones I've done, I listened to um I listened to Ready for It. I listened to that. Um I listened to that yesterday in the car. I ain't gonna lie, that might be my favorite one so far. Ready for it. It's tough. Um I like how she went from just uh, how she went from it was upbeat, then she went to the singing and that ready for it. That's tough. Uh, I think this up there and don't blame me. I think the the two I just did and ready for it is like my top three right now. Endgame's pretty good too. Um I'm trying to think of the other one I did. Oh, Bad Blood. Bad Blood is probably my least favorite out of all of them, but it's still a good song. But um yeah, man. So y'all continue putting Taylor Swift uh, reaction um songs in the comments for me to react to. And music videos. I want to see more music videos from her and lives. So put both of them. And um, you have more on the way, man. That Miss, Doc Miss America documentary will be on my Patreon if I can't get it uploaded to YouTube in the next week or so. So I will let y'all, I will update y'all on that. And if you're new here, hit that sub button, leave a like on the video, follow me on Instagram, hit the post notification bell so y'all know when I drop. And gang. I'm going hard doing all this without them. Niggas be hating, I know they be sour. Forever working, we punch the clock. Close to the high, gotta go see the doc. I'm doing nothing, they be rising the stock. Banana clips be attached to the Glock. Tap of a button, loosen your top. How you get in, boy?